Hi, this is George Anton here, and I want to share with you the four wealth factors that make all the difference in the world with your investing. Once you understand these, and by the way, you learned about these in seventh grade, I believe, in math. Once you understand this, these four factors, it makes all the difference in how to get your financial goals way, way faster. And we learned about these, but we were never given the right context. We were just told, here are these things that are done. We learned them because we had to. But it turns out if you understand them really, really, really well, it makes a huge difference in the decisions you make when you're building wealth. Also, for anyone wanting a copy of the drawing I just did, download the PDF of that right below this video. You'll see a link in the description. Let's go ahead and buckle up and let's dive in. Okay, so let's talk about these wealth factors. So that, again, there are four wealth factors. And these are the only four factors there are to building wealth. There are no others. So this is not specific to any asset. This is actually called a wealth principle. This is true no matter. Uh, it was 100 years ago, 100 years from now, 1,000 years ago, today. It's always true and will always be true. It's called the wealth principle, and you'll see why in a minute. So what are the, uh, the wealth factors? So let's go back to this you might have seen in other videos. So let's just say that you are here today okay this is you and this is a timeline and this is your journey and this is your goal right this is your goal and your goal is to get to some future amount here so let's just say the future amount is as an example two and a half million why did i pick this number i just made it up okay it's different for every single person and let's just say this is your goal this is your future goal. And so what are the four factors? Number one, and I'm going to write here factor. You'll see why. And I'm going to remove the O. You'll see why in a second. Future amount is the first factor. The second one is capital. This is the capital the money you have, okay, this is your second factor. Third factor is time. And the last one is R for rate. So when it comes to building wealth, these are your only factors. I'm going to write here three and four. Capital, time, and rate. This is critical that you understand these because there are no other factors. These are the only factors. And the reason I call them factors is because it's an acronym, factor without the O. So you can remember what these are. F, A, C, T, and R. Now, let's think about this further. This here, you choose. You say, I want X dollars in the future. So this is a decision that you make. Time is really a result of you optimizing the two other levers, capital and rate. So this is a result. So out of the four, there's one that we choose, and one is the result of the other two. So now you're left with two levers, okay? The two factors or the two levers that you control, capital and rate. Now, before I proceed with this, at this point, you might be wondering, these sort of look familiar. So let me share with you why they look so familiar. In math, in sixth grade or seventh grade, I don't know, we learned about something called, there's two things we learned about, simple interest and what? Compound interest. These use the same four factors. Let's look at them really quickly. You probably remember with simple interest is A equals one plus RT. R is rate, T is time, B is principal, which is capital. I changed it to capital so you can remember the, the factor acronym, okay? And A is future amount. Again, I changed it to future amount so we remember the acronym factor. Compound interest is very similar formula. A equals, again, A is a future amount. P is the capital. 1 plus 
R over N to the power, I think it was like NT. So A is future amount, P is capital, R is rate, N is what? Time. This is rate. This is your capital. Again, why am I showing you this? The point is this. There are only four factors on the, on the planet to build wealth. I don't care whether you do real estate, whether you do stocks, whether you, whatever you do, this is not specific to anything. This is a wealth principle and applies to everything to do with wealth building. One is a choice, one is a result, and then you have two levers. Here's the problem. If you were to focus on the wrong lever, it will mean a lifetime of work. If you were to pick the right one, it will mean reaching your financial goals much faster. The question is, which one are you focused on? Now, all four levers are important and you wanna maximize all four levers. Don't get me wrong. You wanna maximize all of them. But if you are focused on improving the wrong one and you're putting all your effort into the wrong one, it means a lifetime of work. Which one are you focused on? Because the wrong one means a lifetime of work. It turns out, if you were to focus on rate, this is a race that you will never win. Because when you are in this race and you're focused on rate, there are things working against you. Inflation, fees, all kinds of stuff. This is the wrong lever. Again, you want to focus on all four. I can't stress it enough. The question is, which one has the biggest impact on your wealth? This has the biggest impact. And this, when we say capital, doesn't mean it's your own money. It is possible to use leverage to win this game. This is what it boils down to. The four wealth factors that make all the difference in your, in your life is one is a result, one is a decision, and two you focus on, and you want to focus on the right one. The capital has the biggest impact on your wealth. Now, why do I tell you that? Why is this important? Now, when you're making decisions in the future, should I buy this or should I buy that? Focus on capital more than give capital more precedence than rate. Let me give you an example. If you're buying stocks, okay, you're just buying stocks and you're hoping it goes up in value. That's rate. If you're buying real estate and you're buying it right and you know what you're doing, it's capital. Now, it is rate as well, but there's more emphasis on capital because you, you get to use leverage. So what happens is by making all better decisions, you focus on capital, then rate. Now, on your journey, when you're accumulating, you're, during your wealth accumulation phase, you're focusing more on capital. Once you get closer to your retirement, your goals here, you switch from capital to rate. So again, you're going to be over here, focus on capital. Your decisions are based on what gives me the most capital. And then later on, rate. This is such an important aspect of wealth building. This is called the wealth principle, and it is not dependent on any specific asset. It goes down, back to what we learned, and more so is understanding these in more detail. So hopefully you enjoy that content. Uh, if uh, you want more of that, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. We are big believers in sharing content and training that can change your life. Also, for anyone wanting a copy of the drawing I just did, download the PDF of that right below this video. You'll see a link in the description. Uh, go ahead and download that. In fact, I would highly recommend you read some of the description we have uh, because we always have links to videos in there that might be very appropriate or correspond to the one you just watched. Now, as a company, all we do day in and day out is we help people like you start seeing a transformation in their life. We focus on implementation. So anytime you're ready, we're here for you. Go ahead and click on the link below and let us know when you're ready and we'll get you going. Okay. So with that, I'll see you in the next video.